Uh, hello, uh, my name is Nora Smith. This pilgrimage was an incredibly valuable experience. It allowed me to see a part of the world I thought I would never get to visit, with people I never expected I would become friends with. I'll never forget that my first moment out of the car, at the tiny hilltop church, surrounded by green mountains and purple flowers. It was like stepping into another world, and it only got better from there. Everywhere we went was a new wonder, from the black sand beaches, to the blue ice glacier, to the art-covered city of Reykjavik. Every new place was an experience that'll hold close to my heart forever. My primary emotion was excitement. I told everyone I knew at least three times that I was going to Iceland over the summer, and that the youth group I was going with had been working for almost two years to raise the money to go. All I could think about was how amazing the experience was going to be. However, as the trip got closer, I got more and more nervous. Travel can be stressful, and since our group wasn't told the plan for the week, I was hit with a bundle of nerves all of a sudden. When the day came and the group was assembled and ready to go, I could feel the nervousness. The bus ride was quiet and full of tension, and the plane was largely the same. There was a uh, oops. Sorry. <laughs> there was a lot of nervousness, a lot of tension, but when we all stepped out of the car onto that flower-covered mountain, all that tension and stress melted away. From that night on, we were a true group. The stress of being on a trip with people we didn't really know was gone. It was easier to appreciate everything we saw and did because now our group had a real connection. Iceland was truly a spiritual experience, and I'm so grateful I got to have it with this group. Hi, I'm Ben Richardson. The Iceland pilgrimage was one of the most important and rewarding experiences in my recent life. Going into the trip, we all had our anxieties. Many of us were not very close to anyone in the group at all. Personally, prior to the trip, I really only talked to a couple of the J2A members outside of the church. I was a little worried that this pilgrimage could be awkward and quiet. However, it was the exact opposite. I went into this trip with a quiet group of very different adolescents and came out with a loud, talkative, funny, friendly, and most importantly, supportive group of friends who made everyone feel that we were included and that we all belonged. I realized that forming companionship with one another was in a sense a spiritual movement that all connected us closer with the church and the spirit of Christianity. The point of churches in Christianity is to build a community with like-minded people. I believe we achieved that goal without a doubt. Throughout the week, we viewed and experienced the beautiful landscape and spirit of Iceland with wonder and amazement. We saw many breath breathtaking waterfalls, hills, beaches, and glaciers. One particular activity, which I will never forget, occurred a few days into the trip when we participated on a long and strenuous glacier hike. We were all very tired from jet lag and from having not slept too well the night before. Even though we were all exhausted, we forged on through the beautiful glacier, even through frigid temperatures and freezing rain. We felt a sense of group accomplishment as we completed our intensely strenuous yet beautiful journey. The pilgrimage was filled with laughter, awe, ex excellent conversations, an opportunity to learn more about ourselves, becoming closer with each other, plenty of ups, a few downs, and a great sense of group companionship. I would like to thank our leaders, Patty, Anne, John, and Jonas, for being excellent and caring role models and for bringing this pilgrimage together. I would also like to thank Rob and the entire congregation, especially our parents and other donors, for their hard work in raising the funds to make our trip possible. The pilgrimage changed my life, and I certainly will never forget it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Molly. So in the weeks leading up to this trip, I started to feel very anxious about the events that were going to take place. I have never been away from my family for this long, and I was not very close with the kids in my group. Little did I know that they would become some of my closest friends. When I got to Iceland, the first thing that caught my attention was the scenery. I had never seen a landscape like that before, and I thought to myself that God's hands must have been at work to create a place so beautiful. Seeing that these were my first impressions, I knew that this trip was going to be amazing. 
Throughout the pilgrimage, we traveled to many different waterfalls, churches, glaciers, and hiking trails. Out of all the places we went, the day on the beach stuck with me the most. Everything about our trip to the beach was perfect. Unlike the other adventures, it was sunny and not raining for once. Sitting on that beach while bonding with everyone else, we talked about how amazing it was that God created all the nature around us. This was truly an unforgettable experience. Thank you so much to everyone who made this trip possible. I want to express my gratitude to this congregation, my group leaders, and my fellow group mates. This was truly a life-changing experience that I will never forget. Hi, I'm Kirsten Powell. Iceland was a life-changing experience. I'm eternally grateful for being able to have that opportunity. I'm very happy that I got to know the others more on the trip. We weren't very close when we arrived, but as soon as we all sat down together the first night, we truly became a group. It took a few years, but we got there. I'm so happy to call you guys some of my closest friends. So I would like to thank the church for providing us with the opportunity to find our spirituality and for us to come together in a beautiful place. I would also like to thank Anne, Rob, Patty, Jonas, and John. Even though he was not with us, we could not have done it without you. Lastly, I'd like to thank my group mates for making the trip so amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm Jack Bradbury. Um, this pilgrimage to Iceland has been unlike anything I've ever experienced before. Um, the scenery with bre was breathtaking and it filled me with a joy that I, I, I never experienced every single day. When we went out and drove anywhere, I could always count on the destination being filled with a certain beauty. This beauty, however, could not have been fully achieved without the friends that I made on this trip. The relationships I manufactured in such little time, I think, are remarkable. Even though John did not go on the trip with us, he was greatly missed and a crucial part of my experience personally. Through many lessons John has taught me, like being adventurous, optimistic, and friendly, I was truly able to enjoy my trip to the fullest. For that, I am extremely grateful. Thank you so much, John, for having a positive effect on my pilgrimage, even though you were not there with me physically, but I kept you in my heart the entire time. Thank you for everyone. My name is Jolyn. When we first touched down in the land of the ice and snow, I didn't know any of my fellow pilgrims. Fortunately, the long drive to the hostel where we spent our first night gave me plenty of time to get to know them. Unfortunately, they were all asleep. <laughs> Refusing to close my tired eyes reaped many rewards. Giant hills topped with green, purple overhangs surrounded by swooping white birds, flower-filled cliffs breaking through the clouds, misty waterfalls dissipating into the low fog, along with the majestic stretches of transparent blue-green water framed by black volcanic sands made the landscape honestly look like something out of a fairy tale. At every twist and turn, I almost expect to see a castle rising out of the coal black sand, the kingdom of God on earth. The roads are long, towns tend to be sparse, words lengthy and unpronounceable, and the glowing horizon stretches perpetually into the distance. Nearly every ride is com commemorated with the soft snores and angelic sleeping faces of my riding companions, living and breathing pieces of God, in addition to the pitter-patter of a persistent rain on the windshield. Each pit stop is marked with something beautiful, whether it be the salty ocean spray between the diverging continental plates, the colorful rocks lining the black sand beach, or the rushing of water behind the biggest, or rather only, waterfall I've ever climbed behind. I had never felt closer to God. You embark on a pilgrimage to connect with him and yourself. When we touched on Iceland, I didn't even have to search. He was there, and so was I. Our Wonder Voyage guide, Shane, talked about the thin places connecting heaven and earth. For me, even in the wind and cold and suffering, Iceland proved to be such a spot. I saw God in every person on that trip in a way I hadn't seen him before. He was ever-present, always there. I think the most important thing I learned on that trip was that I had to stop searching for God. He is ever-present, always there. <laughs>